Hey, what's up? I'm Shane. Here's the Skate Rats van. My 2005 Toyota Sienna. I'm gonna give you a little breakdown video, show you what's in here. First things first, the iPod. If you know me, I always have this thing with me. Crucial, I have all my music on it. Still holding on to this thing. Probably gonna need to go on eBay, buy a bunch of more. Just keep stockpiling these. Here's my Kyber crystal for my green lightsaber. If you don't know me, Star Wars for life. And we got Han Solo's dice right here. Pretty iconic. We got our buddy Smotag riding co-pilot with always. RIP Smotag, love you bud, miss you every day. What else do we got in here? We'll keep going into the back. Back seat right now, what do we got? We got, oh, always have this on deck. You need your massage on always. Keep that always in here for the homies. The wrap mask, plenty of those. Crucial, need the leaf blower. Always need this guy. <laughs> Tripods, been using these guys lately. These are the, those, just some LED lights. When in a pinch, you can't really get the generator going. You definitely, these have been coming in pretty handy. I think there's just some 900 like LED guys. But I definitely recommend getting, like they, they just take VX batteries, you get the bigger ones. That way you can last probably about two, I think two hours on a full charge on one light. Little guy right here, this just has a bunch of random like skate gear, extra wheels and trucks. Still have my shorties first aid kit. This thing is ancient, probably what? How old is this thing? Over 15 years old, maybe? I have more stuff stashed under the seats. Oh, this is probably one of my favorite accessories, this guy, like a bing bag tripod. This thing comes in really handy. It's definitely broken up many times. I pretty much have re-sewed all the way around it because it's leaking the beads out of it, but it's still alive. Definitely recommend one of these. Oh, what do you know? More wrap masks. Shout out to Outdoor Tech. Always need your jam box. First aid kits are always crucial for the pumpers when they get hurt. Oh yeah, you need this guy for the summertime when it gets really hot out, freaking Hoss style. Jedi master himself, Luke Skywalker. Uh, paper towels, these always come in handy. Keep your hands clean, definitely during COVID. And the hand sandy right here. Um, bunch of magazines over here. Oh, you definitely need the selfie stick, crucial. Should I just film the video like this? Just selfie cam it? <laughs> Is that what you film skate videos with? Pretty much. Need the next full-length video is going to be filmed on this. Just wait and see. Here in the rat van, if you say the M word, you got to put some money in the jar. <laughs> oh, man. All right, let's see what's uh, under the hood of this bad boy. You know, we got that V6 3.3 liter. Ain't she a beaut? Well, we're going to check out the back of the van. Got the epic Yoda lightsaber right here for when it's raining out. It comes crucial. Toyota. We only really drive the best cars out. And uh, shout out to Weekend Skateboards. Skater butts, they drive me nuts. Let's see what we in the back of the van going here. Classic skateboard van, you know how, you know the vibes. Here in the back of the Skate Rats van, we got a couple camera bags. Here's the HD bag for the HPX and everything, which Chris is filming with right now. And then I have my VX bag right here for all the VX wildness. Maybe another video I'll do a breakdown of what's in the bags. We have some random shoes in here. We got your trusty Crocs. Probably should be wearing these right now. A couple of these solid metal signs I found one time. They're pretty good for going up the curbs and whatnot. Nice and sturdy, but still very thin, like steel plates. And then here's all my tools for, I do a lot of task rabbit handyman work on the side. So in case you think you make millions off filming skateboarding, you can't. You definitely have to have a side hustle. So I do a lot of handyman work on the side. All my tools are in here for all that stuff. Oh, definitely come in handy for fixing spots too. Um, gardening pad, these are always nice for when filming. Getting those low angles, save your knees. This guy's kind of sick, a little dolly. I use this for work too. A couple different things, you can do this guy. And then you can break it down again. And look at that. Now we got a hand truck. And oh, we got the generator in here just a 2000 watt powerhouse nothing special wish i had the honda but i'm not rich at all so we make do with what we got a couple extension cords metal plate here two of these guys trusty level i mount tvs all day for clients in beverly hills and whatnot this side over here we got all the rub brick and lacquer more rub bricks more spray paint you know, just all the necessities to keep those spots coming. Broken rubber bricks. 
Need some carb cleaner, keep the generator running it's nice and smooth. I've probably torn this thing apart five times now and I hope I never have to tear it apart again. Last summer it wasn't running correctly, couldn't figure out what was going on. I had to take all the hoses in there from the gas tank like into the carb and literally end up being some sort of a tissue it was plugging one of the pipes in there. So none of the gas was getting fed into the carburetor and it took me so long to figure out what the issue was. It was definitely pulling hairs for sure. And then this guy built this little custom little wood plate right here have more stuff hiding under here. Oh, this thing, it's pretty sick. Blow up Millennium Falcon. <laughs> we're in time to go swimming. Oh, just another work vest for when I'm out working. When I'm not filming, I like this thing. All my tools. Uh, what else we got, Maria? Oh, there's an extra cricket board down here. Shout out Sebo Walker, I'm Sebo Flow, pretty. Nice sponsor to have. Bunch of bungees and stuff in here. More bungee cords. Helmet, protect the dome. A couple other random boards in here. Smoke tag, shout out. Love you, bud. Rat stencil. And then, oh yeah, these guys. I have these random pieces of wood. There's this one spot that you need. It's kind of like a cage spot, but these go under each slot to keep the fencing from bending down when you grind on top of it. So like cut these out to the custom dimensions to fit on top of it. So we got, oh, we got more signs classic more signs in a skate van and i think that does it for the back of the van let's go to the top all right let's go see what's up in the tooly rack up here more tools and stuff you always need a little chair maybe you want to post up film long ones or just hanging out it's always nice to have and then we got more tools up here creating whatever you need we got it, pretty much anything up here. A little sander, we got another grinder. Maybe Ryobi will sponsor me after this. I keep everything stored up here, but I feel like I need to get a bigger one. It's running out of space now. Yeah, I got it, it's, it's locked. Uh, what do we got? Jumper cables. I think I've had this thing entwined for like over 10 years now. So maybe like halfway through it. I've used it on other skate spots too when branches and other things are in the way that you don't want to cut, we use it, tie it back to the tree, get it out of the way. That's coming handy, but Pretty much anything, tie stuff down. These are just filled with more drill batteries and stuff for the drills and all the other tools. And we got the lights for the generator. Just the old classics. Hard helmet, more work vests, you know, blend in. When we're fixing spots, they'll never catch us. We're supposed to be here fixing the spots up. I've definitely been caught a few times doing like rubber and lacquer and you're fixing up some other spots. One time these cops caught us and I totally pitched it to them like, we're fixing the spot and we're gonna make it protecting so like we don't hurt the spot. Like the lacquer is gonna harden the spot so it doesn't chip away. And like they totally bought it. It totally worked out. They were like, okay, sounds good. And like, it, I was like, this is insane. I can't believe them. they literally just like kind of talked my way out of this and they literally didn't care. Uh, what do we got? Some liquid nails. Got the old broom up in here. Broomstick. Uh, a couple of random poles. Make, make some pole jams out of these. Got the, got the bungee up in here. Thanks to the homie Sean for hooking this up. Bungee comes in handy. All right, I'm coming for you, Chris. Whoa, I'm going so fast. Got another grinder, plug-in grinder, non-battery. Shovel, got some crowbars. We got uh, some freaking hedge trimmers right here. For bolt cutters. You know the vibes. Don't tell my mom. Uh, pipe cutters right here. This comes in handy too. Uh, another little shovel, a little trowel. You know, get your quick, 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 can't even talk. Get your quick creep jobs going. More spray paint. Another crowbar. More extension cords. <laughs> so much stuff. And I got two longer pieces right here. Came up on these guys at a spot. I was pretty hyped on these guys. They already had freaking holes drilled into them which was nice because you can kind of sneak the screws in there. Two of these guys. I cut down just a piece of plywood to fit the bottom of, of this guy too. Actually, wait, uh, still more stuff. You know, got just the chill machete. This is when we go hiking. I always need a machete if you're out there bushwhacking. Um, and then, yeah, so I, I took this piece of plywood and cut it down to fit the bottom of here exactly. Uh, for runway to put it downstairs or anything extra. And then here on the other side of the van, we got the ladder, the old trusty ladder. Keep this guy locked in here. 
That way no one tries to steal it. I've had this one for quite some time. And then I took another, another gardening pad. Just like put it on top here, a little cushion. Ooh, Get, getting all those angles, you know. All right, well, I think that's pretty much everything in the van. We did the top, what's inside, the back. I think there's one more thing in the back though. Oh yeah, I got one more thing back here. There's a, uh, I've got a pumper named Tarvin back here. Last thing in the van. He usually sleeps under here, underneath. And uh, yeah, I think that's everything in the van. Thanks for watching the video. This is everything that's in the van, laying next to me. And uh, yeah, like, subscribe, and so comment, hit that bell button, or what do they say? I don't know what they say. Yeah. Bye.